Welcome. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the signature tool in Kami. Kami is an online document annotation tool. I'm on, at the Kami home screen and I can open a, a document or something that I have saved in Google Drive. I can open from my computer if I have a document saved there. I can create a classroom assignment, a new blank page, or do what I'm going to do today, which is go down to recents, things that I've opened before, and I have a field trip consent form that I'm going to open. Rather than click on it here and wait for it to open, I have it opened and ready to go right here. So here I am, and you can see I already have a signature there, so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to go to this left sidebar where all the annotation tools are. I'm going to scroll over them slowly so you can see the name. Text to speech is a great one. Markup, comment, text box. I can draw, I can insert an image, and there's my signature tool. Now, since I already have one in here, that's fine. I'm going to compare it to a new one that I'm going to do. I have three options when I get to this pop up. I can upload an image. So if you've already used a signature tool of some sort and you already have that image saved, you can use that. I can draw my signature. So I can use the mouse on my PC or the trackpad on my laptop or Chromebook. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, not impossible, but a little more difficult. The one that I like is this third option, draw signature on phone. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna prompt me. It gives me a link if I want to use the link and I can copy it by pressing copy over here to the right. But I have my smartphone next to me, so I'm gonna click email me the link. And it may take it a few seconds to, depending on the speed of your internet and whatnot. There it is. It pops up on my phone. A big blue rectangle in the middle says, use your touch screen to start drawing. And I'm going to press on the red button that says, start drawing. It'll prompt me to open it in a browser. I like to use Google Chrome. And I'm going to press start. Now it's important to note here that when I sign or anytime I use Kami, there's going to be a lock up in the web address bar. The lock means that it's a secure site and it uses a 256-bit encryption to stay safe. I'm going to go ahead and sign, see if I can make it better than the one before, and then press Save. And as soon as that's saved, it's going to pop up on my screen right here in the blue outlined box. Well, that one's not quite as nice as the one I used before, so I'm actually going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to use the one that I already had in there. So I'm going to click Insert. And now I have two copies here. I can get rid of one by using the little signature toolbar here. I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to place this one where I want it. Now you can see that signature is pretty big. I can go up to my toolbar, which allows me to move, or I can rotate my signature, which I don't want to. I can delete it if I didn't like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this blue dot in the right hand corner towards the bottom, and I'm going to make that signature small enough to fit where I need it to fit. Perfect. Now that I'm all done, I can come up to the blue Kami toolbar, come up to the save function here, Click on Save. It's saved to Kami, but I also want to save it to Google Drive. So I would click Create Your Own Copy. Now, I already have a copy of this, but you would click Create Your Own Copy, and it would put it in the Kami folder that's created in your Google Drive when you start using Kami. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.